Hey everyone, so I'm back in LA and I'm here with, ooh, sexy. I'm back here with Kelvin and we're at the Sushi Chef Institute down in Torrance, which is like in between LA and OC, if that gives you a better indication of where we are. But we're super excited, we're here for a media night, so I think we're gonna have a lot of delicious food. So let's go ahead and head in there and yeah. <laughs> All right, so Kelvin and I are actually the first people here. <laughs> but it's good, see, we're early. Better early than late. But okay, I wanna show you guys this super cool map. So the Sushi Institute basically, yeah, trains sushi chefs and here are all their like students, like where they're located now. Isn't that so cool? And then they have like a wall here with a lot of their um, graduates. It's, it's like a real university. It's so cute. But yeah, I'm super excited to go inside and try the food once they're ready since we're 15 minutes early. <laughs> All right, so we're walking inside. Oh my gosh, so cute. All right, so we have traditional music. Different soy sauces. Water. Karage. So this is basically like Japanese fried chicken. More sauces. I see fish over there. All right, let's keep perusing. So here you have the sushi chef making it. Here at the Sushi Institute, you can see we have Let's see, that looks like yellowtail salmon shrimp. What is this one? I'm not really sure what this is. Uh, red snapper. Red snapper. I've never seen it with the skin on like that. Yeah. That looks super good. It tastes better with the skin on. Ooh, okay, and then what about this one? So that's tamago. Tamago. This was the uh, eggplant. Eggplant, okay. And then I don't know what this is. That's uh, mackerel. Mackerel, okay. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. And hamachi. All right, I'm definitely gonna, I want that snapper, so I'm gonna try some of that. We're gonna try that snapper that you mentioned with the skin. I've never ever had snapper skin on, so this is very interesting. Where did you want? If you like fish skin, you will love it. I love fish skin. You get that stronger fish flavor and that fat. So good. Okay, so this is steamed oyster, and I've never had steamed oyster. You all know that I can eat like three dozen raw oysters. So let's see how a steamed oyster is. Can I take this? And it's from Japan. Oh my gosh, look at this. That looks amazing. All right, let's see my first steamed oyster. It gives it more of a clam consistency, a little chewier, but it doesn't compromise too much of the oyster flavor. Still a little bit is compromised when it's good. So really good. It reminds me of a clam. It's like 75% clam and like 0.5% oyster. But still really good. But I still think I like it. Okay, so at the Primetime Seafood Ink booth, we have some striped bass sashimi, and I've actually never tried, or to my knowledge, I've never tried striped bass, so let's try this and see. Got a touch of soy sauce on there, let's see. Sitting on there. Poor little thing. No, 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 I want the, the piece. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Alright, let's try it. <laughs> it's tender. It melts. It's meaty. It's hearty. That's good. I have the same thing in a hand roll, too. 